Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we will see how to change the mouse pointer or you can call it the mouse cursor to a hand or other symbol you want, okay? So, if we look here in the VS Code, you can see that we have different symbols to the point. Here I have the scroll and here I have this arrow, here I have the, this hand, and sometimes we want this hand to eight male elements that we don't have as default, okay? So how can we do this with only CSS? It's very simple, okay? We just need an element that doesn't have this cursor pointer by default, okay? So, I will put some tests here, like change to a hand, okay? And also, I will put a new class of hand here, okay? So, what do we need to do now? Just let's change to this CSS file and style this paragraph with this rule here. I will create some rules for all the paragraphs. I will put a padding of uh, 20 pixels, a margin of 20 pixels, and a background color of black and a color of gold for the text. Okay. And now for the cursor, how can we change the cursor? We just need to set the property cursor. Okay. And here we have all the possible values given by VS Code that we can change the default cursor, okay? So I will set it to pointer because this is the most used, okay? And if we go now to our browser, I will open this file with live server. You will see that we have an arrow now of our website this is the default cursor for our websites our elements of html but in this paragraph it will change to a hand okay and this is how we change our cursor okay we just need to set the cursor property to a value and we have different values for that we can change it to the not allowed symbol so let's create another paragraph here and add to that not allowed class the value of not allowed okay so you see that here i have the hand okay and here i will have the not allowed icon so you can play with the this, this property values to see how the silos you can set your cursor to be, okay? So this is it for today, guys. It's a very easy resource to set, to configure, okay? You just need to add the cursor property and set up the value you want, okay? And we have a lot of values that can be set, as you can see here. This is how uh, the values we have available for this property. And you can test in your machine to see if we have another that is better for your situation. Okay? So please like this video, this helps me a lot. And also subscribe to this channel. This makes my videos reach more people and they can learn more about web development. Okay? So see you in the next video.